over the course of the next three days in Cumberland, Maryland. And if you take a look at the list of those teams, you're talking about the premier teams in high school basketball. Let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by the U.S. Marines, starting off with La Lu. When you're talking about star-studded backcourts, Adam, it doesn't get a whole lot better than Fears and Starling. No, it certainly doesn't. J.J. Starling, he is going to be an instant impact player at Notre Dame, a one of the best guards in the country, quite frankly, does a little bit of everything, and certainly the player to watch for Lalu. On the flip side for Bishop Walsh, a little bit more of a balanced attack. But T.J. Robinson, as a sophomore, kind of exploding onto the scene as the point guard. He has a, a very high upside, a lot of responsibility for such a young player. Keep an eye on Travis Roberts, the senior who provides some experience for an otherwise young group. Lalu in the blue. Bishop Walsh in the white. We are underway here with Lalu. Robinson has been game as Bishop Walsh looking to get their season off on the right foot here. Travis Roberts, Jacksonville State verbal commit, giving up on the turnover here. Now ahead of the pack is Akara, and Akara running to the rim here. As Dan Preet and his staff pretty excited. Akara putting it on the deck. Good pass. Fears penetrating all the way to the rim, and Fears attacks. That's what they're looking for early in the shot clock here. Alu, the fourth rated team in the country. Oh, nice, nice pass inside and a big finish. Programs there as Torres tries to get that one to fall, won't. And Mabry back out the other way in transitions. Holloway able to swoop and score. Dormu running the show for the Spartans. Five to shoot. Torres gives it up. Dormu, someone's going to have to shoot. And Dormu splashes it in from bonus distance. Well, get in there and take another look at this one. As Dormu taking all the time he needed and eyed that one up. Well, it was 28 seconds of phenomenal defense, but just the last little bit of that. Won't. And Mabry back out the other way in transitions. Holloway able to swoop and score. Dormu running the show for the Spartans. Five to shoot. Torres gives it up. Dormu, someone's going to have to shoot. And Dormu splashes it in. Take from another look at this one. As Dormu taking all the time he needed and eyed that one up. Well, it was 28 seconds of phenomenal defense, but just the last little bit of for that. Bishop Walsh. Holloway slams on the brakes, fading, hits the elbow jumper. Nice way for La Lu to end that first quarter. Because I, I think he is a talented passer. He's focused on scoring a lot as an underclassman, but he's recognized he can the squad and highly skilled as well. Mabry rains it down from the outside. Now here's Torres putting it on the deck again, but there's nothing there. He made a nice play that time, but he's better off getting the defense to move. See what happens when the defense moves first and foremost. Even though he stopped and held it for a second, he was in a better spot. Oh, Mabry's feeling it. Look out now. Belmar, New Jersey native from the Jersey Shore. As that one pushed just too strong. Holloway in transition for Lalu. Nobody stops him. Wow. And a circus shot hit by Aiden Holloway. How about the body control to be able to maintain his balance mid-air and bank that one in? Well, he plays with such good pace in the open floor. You can kind of see him measuring, measuring, picking his spots. Got caught in the air, but had the presence of mind to maintain the balance. Watch this. How about that? You hit that one in horse. And it's such a, a niche thing to coach at a high level of high school basketball because you have you have elite talents, but you still have to teach them basic fundamentals. So it's a fine line in a lot of ways. Man, what a dish from Holloway down low to Fears. Experience. They're going to learn from that. That's the right play to make. Roberts able to muscle that one up and in. I, I thought he was a little under-recruited prior to his commitment. That's pretty. Just knocked out of his hands. Now feed the other way, Mabry running the floor. And another, I'm sorry, that was Robinson who took that charge. But for a young player who's just a sophomore, how about that? On the defense and the offensive end. So first it's defense and now it's offense, taking the charge and this time showing the creativity with which he's known for and the body control, knocked down that little runner. Going right at J.J. Starling, sending him to the bench. Robinson drawing foul. Plays with pace offensively, can get in the lane and then spit it out to shooter. So he already got a deflection there. 
And he's making himself a nuisance as well. Help defense, Two deflections. there you go. How about that? On cue. Absolutely right. Dormu comes in and draws the foul as well. Some stuff there from Dormu. Roberts stepping around the screen. Pull up Jay. Cure. And that's why I think he's a steal, because the ability to go on your offhand, get to two feet, and then elevate Down the over. lane, kicks. Mabry. Too strong. We walked. Dishes it ahead and a flush. Two hands for Nekraskovich. Getting the local crowd, they're getting excited. To just six. JJ Starling and Shisa Makpara on the bench with foul trouble. Holloway, the finger roll off the glass. You'd want to have him on your side without question. Torres getting in his bag a little bit here. A little out of control at the end as Fears comes back the other way. Nice dish by Fears and Mabry running the break. Dormu stepping back. Thought about that one for a second. Roberts steps into it. Hey! That's what I'm talking about. That's what he does. So he's got the, he's the shooter. He's got a newfound pull-up game and ability to create space off the bounce. Challenging Holloway. And Holloway able to muscle his way in. Put back won't go either. Fears. Turns it back for Holloway. Ooh, pretty. Spins away from Torres. Bang! Man, what an answer. And Aiden Holloway putting on a show. Coming to an Instagram post soon on SportsCenter Next. That's exactly right. Roberts. Dormu running the lane, gets it blocked. Majai did that with his elbow. And he did a great job Whoa. of maintaining verticality. Man, the look away from Holloway. Transition. Two for one opportunity here for Lalu. They knew it, and they got it. Up. Oh, no, they're going to wave that one off. But smart. You know, back in the UNC days of Ty Lawson, just somebody who's playing at a completely different speed than everyone else. And Dormu trying to get his team back in it. Now Akpara drives the lane, puts it up, and one. Chisholm Akpara is just too strong. And when he plays in straight lines and is efficient with his bounces, those help defenders to stay at home. And that time, he was just able to exactly. go right. And people don't recognize just how good the Ivy League is. Look out, two on one, and a finish softly from J.J. Starling. Torres surveying things. Bishop Walsh down 20. Okay. Roberts makes it 18. But we've seen the uh, expansion of the rest of his offensive game. Holloway expanding his point you total. Like you, when you don't waste your fouls, you're able to use them in more productive ways. Ooh. Akpara steps through and finishes. Whoa. Starling headed to Notre Dame, the number 27 player in the senior class. Big scoop off the window. Stays out somehow. That this is their opening game, basically, of their season, and they're trying to shake off rust and get things going. There are some things to build on here for sure. They step through, and Narashkovich bringing players up to the D1 level, to the pro level, but I mean, racking up 900 wins at any level, you are doing something absolutely right. And the support of the community to make this a, a big show for decades here in the Cumberland area. That, that natural talent that so few underclassmen in the country have, that was a big time play. Man, a par of active hands to create this turnover and flushes it down coast to coast. A dump. Spin in by Torres, and his shot was blocked as well by Christian Humphrey Rember. Second time he's done that, though, where he's got it is again. Here's the dump truck. Yeah, don't get in his way. Jeez. And how about the body control as well to create the space now in he needs time. to? It's the consistency of the decision making that's the next step. But his talent is undeniable. Good block by Akpara. Roberts thought that he was free for a that second. Stuffer for Lalu. Well, and he was frustrated a couple of minutes ago. You could see but it. He's channeled okay. that in the right way and now making plays on both ends of the floor. He's going to have a lot of positive momentum going into tomorrow's matchup with Wasai. And even in a game like this where it's kind of gotten away from Bishop Walsh on the scoreboard, we've seen some players frustrated by their foul situation kind of disengage. Akara has not done that. Going to that left-hand side. Akara back at it. Offensive foul there. Here. 
And that'll be the final foul on Chisholm Akpara. He's gotten away from that, showed tremendous growth and progression. So it's just, you know, you, you, when you're the coach, it's your job to remind him and say, hey, you don't do that anymore. Fears somehow gets that one ahead. And the finger roll won't fall. Second effort, no, but a foul. Manning and Lalu, an impressive performance here against Bishop Walsh. High caliber programs locking horns here in the NIBC series. Brought to you by the U.S. Marines. Final score, 57-36. Lalu downing Bishop Walsh. And it was an impressive performance by Pat Holmes' squad. Well, it was a terrific response. When Bishop Walsh cut that, that lead to six, they responded in a big, big way, and the counterpunch was impressive. It's going to just about wrap things up from Cumberland, Maryland. From my partner, Adam Finkelstein, Joe Torty saying so long. And we'll see you later this weekend. Plenty of basketball on tap. So don't go anywhere.